next guest has had 20 singles on the country radio charts, including his number one single, Your Love Amazes Me. All the way back, I don't want to date anyone, back in 1994. 1994. Feels like just yesterday, yeah, doesn't it? Right, yeah. Well, before he hits the stage tonight at do -Si do in the Woodlands, he's here in Studio B to chat about a very special anniversary he has coming up. Grammy Award-winning country artist John Barry. Hello, back how to are y'all? We're good so to be glad back. To nice see to see you both. Listen, 94, that's a trip. And when we talk about <laughs> when we talk about this 30th anniversary, so June 7th, 1993 is the anniversary of the release of your debut album. How are you feeling and what are you thinking about? Uh, oh. just reflect <laughs> <laughs> Besides the aches and pains, uh, how, I mean, reflecting on your career, this is an incredible milestone. It's been, a, it's been a pretty good ride. We've had a lot of fun. I know a lot of your viewers are going, John Perry, John Perry. Wait, who, I know who, that who, name. Who yeah. is that? And uh, it's okay. A lot of times I don't know who I am. Oh, people know your music, especially your holiday music. It, I mean, a, a lot of times people come to our shows and they'll sit, and after the show they'll come, and then I will visit with folks afterwards, and they'll be like, you know, I didn't know, I don't, didn't realize I knew so many of your songs. And, yeah. And, and I'll see people sitting there going, I'll see them, they'll punch the person or something going, I know that one too. I know that. And so we have a lot of songs that people re recognize, but they don't, there's a thing I call the trifecta. It takes a lot of time, a lot of money, lots of things to make the trifecta come together, where people can hear your name, picture your face, and name five of your songs. Oh, wow. Wow. That's a huge deal. Yeah. And, and to get that trifecta to happen, and, and I had a lot of things. When Your Love, Amazes Me, Your Love Amazes Me was my first number one record, May 10th of 1994, I had brain surgery that morning. That, I mean, totally. Unbelievable. About, and yeah. that's the day you found out. Uh, yeah, and 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 then uh, so I was I was kind of I had all this big number one I, I couldn't work it I couldn't I couldn't get out and work the record I couldn't I couldn't take advantage of the the moment and then when I had uh, you're, you she's taking a shine was the number one record I had to have vocal cord surgery and I was gone for nine months disappeared for nine months is it what a I mean what a life to have all these huge highs and huge lows yeah, it's crazy does it make you feel a little reluctant to push into another high because you think well, it's going to follow with a slap in the well, face? Well, that's just, that's just life. It's just life. That's You're just not life. superstitious. How do you, so. yeah, what do you, well, yeah, what is your keep well, going tips for yourself? I, I don't want to get all spiritual and all that, but do it. I, I, I have a faith, have strong faith, and I live that faith, and as long as I'm walking in that faith, I know I'm where I'm supposed to be. Yeah. So yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. Well, and also the irony of working so hard to have your debut album and then to have the single <laughs> do so well on the charts yeah. the very same day you have brain surgery. I can imagine that that was frustrating to say the least. John, listen, a, a three decade career, that's unusual. Your vocal cords, your talent, your brain, all of it is very sharp. You're still performing. You're back in Texas tonight performing at the Woodlands. The last time you were here, though, was during Hurricane Harvey. And what I think is incredible about you is that, I mean, for those of us who are here, that was just a, a heart-wrenching, awful, awful time. And you and your comrades, your crew, you jumped in to help. Well, you know, we, we were watching it on television. And just like, what, what can we do to help? What, what can we do? And we reached out to uh, Franklin Graham and his folks with Samaritan's Purse. And we volunteered, and a couple of us jumped on our little tour bus and drove out here and parked at a church that was uh, associated with the, the cleanup. And we volunteered for four days to just to help up monk out houses. And uh, it was a, it was a, actually a great time. It was um, difficult, but very uplifting to see the community come together. Difficult and a very very dirty job because yeah. uh, so many homes and businesses. It was it was unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Gosh, so. I mean, just so intense. Yeah. So, wow. I've got to say, can we just stop this trend of wherever you go and something you're doing something great, then something really dis a disaster happens? Can we just, like, cancel that? <laughs> yes, yeah, so we'll, we'll have a great show tonight and then break down on the way back to Nashville. Oh, my God. Your show tonight, yeah. by the way, so do -Si do you were telling us this venue, it was essentially an old barn from where, Kentucky? Ken I think it's Kentucky. That they, so they, they dismantled, dismantled it, this barn, brought it here, and put it back together and open one of the most spectacular venues you'll ever go to. And not only oh, do you wow. get the ticket to go see John Barry perform, which is a treat in and of itself, but dinner is included in the That's ticket awesome. prices. Um, for you, does it feel 
all these years later, 30 years later, does it still feel like a job? Or is it, uh, is it fun for you when you get oh, on I love that it. stage? Especially if people show up. <laughs> Show up. <laughs> please, please come. Please come see me. Well, come we, me sing for you. We know that when you, you know, when people do come to your concerts, you've just said, you know, it's going to be one of those concerts that when you're there watching, you're going to go, wait, I know this song. Yeah. I know that song. Yeah. I know this. There, there'll be a lot of songs that you may not know it was me, but you'll, you'll recognize them. So, so hopefully you'll like them. You were, John, nominated for the ACM Top New Male Vocalist in 1994. The Grammy Award that we mentioned, that was in 1996 uh, for your participation in Amazing Grace, which was a gospel salute. Yeah, salute to gospel. And yeah. you were nominated for another Grammy in 95 for Your Love Amazes Me. And Your Love Amazes Me is the song you'll be performing for yes, us later yes, today. Yes, I'd love to sing it for you today. So yeah. is that when you're Singing a song like this, I can only imagine what you're thinking about um, a, a song from literally decades ago and this song that, that yeah. brought you so much attention. How do you feel? What's going through your mind? I always think about my sweet wife, Robin. We've been married for 35 years this summer. And when I went through that brain surgery, it was, I had turned into the weirdest person on the planet. I had a cyst in the third ventricle of my brain. Oh my gosh. And the fluid backed up and caused me to turn into a different person. Uh, when we talked to the, uh, the surgeon, he said, when they saw all the scans and what, what all was going on, he said, uh, it causes a change of personality, loss of appetite, and uh, horrible memory. I, and, I thought you were I, being facetious for a moment. So you literally were changing into a, your mind was oh, not yeah, functioning. Yeah. Oh, wow. She was pregnant with our second child and I was the meanest person on the planet. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And I woke up from that surgery and I was me again because they removed the cyst and the fluid drained off, the pressure went away and I was me again. But my wife, stuck it, by you. she had to go through that difficult time of putting up. And my dad had told her, he, he was, my dad was a great guy and he spent a lot of time with her because I was off the deep end. And he told her, he said, listen, honey, love is a decision. It's not a feeling. I hope that you'll honor that decision that you made to love my son, whatever he's going through, that you'll love him through it. And she did. And so when I sing this song, I think about her and what, how amazing her love has been for me and our three children and our family. Oh wow. That's just well, like, now I'm about to fully burst into tears, but that's beautiful. Well, I am sponsored by Kleenex. <laughs> We're going to think of Robin uh, oh when we hear the gosh. song as well. So John Barry, the concert tonight, do -Si do Big Barn in the Woodlands, 6.30 p.m. Tickets start at 88 bucks. As I mentioned, dinner is included. More details online at HoustonLife.tv. So listen, we're going to sit tight, take a quick commercial break, and after the break, John Barry himself will be performing live here on Houston Life. Don't go away. We're back on Houston Live. And now to perform his 1994 chart-topping single, here's John Barry with Your Love Amazes Me. John, take it away. Your love 
John Barry, sponsored by Kleenex. <laughs> I can see why you Come think on. of your oh wife, goodness. Robin, when you sing that. That's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Beautiful. That. You beat cancer, brain surgery, you were hit by a car, all <laughs> kinds of <laughs> adventures in John's horse, life. Right? <laughs> hey, a reminder, you can catch John Barry tonight live at do -Si do in the Woodlands. That was fantastic. Thank you. And that is going to be a fantastic It's, it's, it's good to be back in town and looking forward to being at, at do -Si do's Big Barn tonight. you got to okay. come visit us more yeah. often, John. I love that. Texas Thank you. misses you. Appreciate that. Oh, my goodness, mate. Definitely get that concert.